First, um, I would like to say that the implementation of the international commitments, in particular those enshrined in the UN Charter uh, on developing friendly relations among nations, based also on respect of the uh, principle of equal rights and self-determination of peoples, can enormously contribute to the prevention efforts. If there is anything that history teaches us, is that there is a direct linkage between the brutal hindrances of uh, the rightful exercise of human rights and violent uh, conflicts. Usually countries which are disrespecting the fundamental right of peoples to self-determination are also grossly violating human rights in general. By the way, this uh, same idea was expressed also in the report prepared by uh, expert group requested by Human uh, Rights Council of the United Nations and uh, headed by Alfred Zayas, submitted by Secretary General to General Assembly. Second, conflicts may impede uh, the sustainable development. This is a reality, but there is another reality as well. Some protracted or frozen conflicts may continue for decades on the territories inhabited by people whose aspirations to achieve sustainable development goals are as legitimate as for anyone else. Pending settlement to the final status uh, of certain territories, particularly those which are subject of negotiations under agreed format of conflict resolution, should not be used as an excuse to violate the legitimate right of the people to development. The international community should find ways to ensure involvement of the people from conflict areas in the international cooperation aimed at achieving sustainable development goals. The operation of the international organizations and agencies such as the UNDP and others are also not be anyhow restricted from uh, the people, for the people of the conflict areas. 